Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, for you guys, we finally did it. We finally switched Blue Hive. So in today's video, I'm just going to be kind of like um, grinding around, showing you guys my Blue Hive. Um, and, you know, so right now, if you look at it, a lot of bubble bees, but listen, it's only because I don't have many tadpoles yet. I have three tadpoles, four buoyants. And I think uh, 12 bubble bees, maybe. And then the rest of the hives. You know, as you can see, I have a basic bee. I have one gifted bumble, one gifted cool, one gifted hasty, one gifted looker, one gifted stubborn, 12 bubble bees, um, two gifted bucko, one gifted commander, uh, two gifted fro two non gifted frosty, one gifted honeybee, one gifted baby, one gifted diamond, one gifted music. Three ninjas, one is gifted, four buoyants, three tads, and then obviously event bees. You have cobalt, you have festive, you have gummy, you have photon, puppy, tabby, windy, vicious. All of those bees are important to a blue hive. So by the way, guys, stump field is probably my favorite field for blue, if I'm being honest with you guys. So that's where I'm going to be kind of grinding today. I'm trying out this new hive. It's not amazing yet. I do have Popstar, by the way, on my amulet, um, which is great. And I have four buoyants and three tads, which isn't that much, but I still do get a lot of balloons and bubbles because I have bubble bees as well. And I'm going to be getting a lot of my bubble bees gifted. For now, I already started working on that. So there's my Supreme Star amulet. No blue pollen, which stinks. But we do have pop star, so hopefully next time we do it, we can get pop star blue pollen. Maybe we'll get pop star star shower, or pop star and gummy star, double passive, or pop star and like guiding. That wouldn't be bad. Pop star and guiding would not be bad at all. Plus blue pollen would be great. Although instant conversion isn't a thing you really need in a blue hive because you're gonna have a lot of capacity with max bubble bloat. So don't worry about having too much instant conversion. I still think it's important to have a little bit. It's one of my favorite stats in the game, obviously. As you can see, we're starting to fill up a lot of balloons, getting a good pop star with all those bubbles. Um, and I have a very balanced hive, um, a lot of the key important bees, and then I just have a bunch of, like, I'm going to have a bunch of tadpoles and buoyants. My goal is probably 14 buoyants, 14 tadpoles. Maybe I'll have 15 buoyants, 14 tads if I make room. I'm thinking about... When I get Tide Popper, which won't be, by the way, for a while, guys, because we're going to get Gummy Boots soon. Um, that's our next thing. Um, but, so Gummy Star would actually be good. I forget what Gummy, how Gummy Star works. So a 69, uh, a 60 Pop Star to start off isn't bad. Um, again, as you can see, I don't have many balloons in the field, but only four buoyant bees. Just wait till we have 14 buoyant bees. We're going to have so many... And maybe even more than 14. I'll probably get 15. I don't know. I feel like you can't have... You can have more buoy as many buoyant bees as you really want. You don't want a full hive of buoyant bees. Then it's not balanced. But you can still have a lot of buoyant bees. And still have a good balanced hive. Make a lot of honey. Um, but here's the thing with blue. If you boost and you get 10 billion from the boost. Do not be angry. Because most of the honey you're going to make is from your balloon. Which usually for me I like make like... 10 billion in the boost, 5 bill maybe. Then I'll go to the balloon and I'll make 20 bill, and then it will be actually a good boost. And again, this is with a lot of bubble bees, which actually do help a lot, especially since I'm going to gift them. If you just go to Royal Jellies and you do until gifted, um, I learned that it works. I got like four bubble bees last night gifted. That's after this video, but don't worry, guys. I'm going to have a lot of gifted bubble bees, so we're going to get a higher chance of bubbles, which means bigger pop star, more honey, more fun, you know? So, and again, tadpoles are also so important. The abilities on those two cards are crazy good. You need a gifted vector. I think that's very important. I might get rid of it because pollen marks aren't exactly huge. And triangulates, if you only get one triangulate, it's not, but you need a gifted fuzzy no matter what. You need the pollen haze. You need pollinating fields. like you, And fuzzy bee is just a strong, a strong bee. You need that. You do not need a spicy bee. If you want a spicy bee, 
I guess you can have one, but I really wouldn't recommend it because it literally does nothing. I have literally one red bee, guys, and that is festive bee. As we're going to get our, we're going to harvest our blue clay planters. We need blue extracts because, you know, we're on this, the slow grind to, what's it called? Um, Tide Popper, but we're going to go for Gummy Mask first and build up our hive. Then we'll get Tide Popper. All I need is glues, by the way, guys. We're going to place this glue, um, blue clay planter here and run it around the fields. Okay, we are going to place the pesticide planter. Um, I always place the pesticide planter in strawberry because it grows faster in the 5Bs area and I AFK a lot and get my planters done because I need waxes and I need lots of extracts. So usually I'll do red clay planter and rose, blue clay planter in bamboo, and pesticide planter in strawberry. There's no really order there, it's just kind of, oh, as we get a gummy sprout. Um, nothing huge there, we're not going to go and get it, or anything like that. Um, also, we're going to store this nectar. I'm starting to use the nectar pot a little more. Um, it does cost five tickets to store, which is kind of annoying, but comforting nectar is very solid, so we're going to um, say yes to that and store that. We lose five tickets, but we store that for later for a boost. If you want to see a boost video, um, I'll do that. It's not going to be like an amazing boost maybe like 30 billion, but it's still going to be, for my f like first official boost for blue, going to be good. Because again, my hive's not fully developed. Like, my red hive was great. It was fully developed. I feel like red is easier to make. Um, but yeah, here's the thing. You guys do not need red bees. They're pretty much pointless. Now, if you're a red hive, you do need a few blue bees. For example, like I had cobalt, I had Gifted Ninja. I don't really know if I needed that for a blue hive, a red hive. Honestly, I think my red hive could have been even better uh, if I thought out some. So yeah, I might get rid of Gifted Vector B for now. I'm keeping it. Maybe I'll replace it with a Gifted Carpenter. Because when we get Tide Popper, there's this Tide Popper ability. As we're making 5 mil per second, that's really good. We're lagging a little bit, which is surprising. But anyways, when we get Tide Popper, there's this ability... Once you stack it up, the Tide Popper, like when you um, hit the pollen, it does faster. So if we have pollen from tools, which I think is what Carpenter gives, then that's going to be really strong. Because we'll get more from our Tide Popper. So, you know, just, and I can replace that with Vector B, still get some pollen marks. The only thing I'll lose out on is triangulates, but that's not important. Because then I don't have to worry about stretching triangulates and wasting um, time filling up balloons. Or, I mean, like, when I could be when I could be filling up balloons. Um, so, again, sometimes I have, like, seven balloons in the field. Like, yesterday, once I had, like, ten. Here, only two in the field. But they usually, I mean, capacity is the huge thing in blue. Because the more capacity you have means you won't fill up. And it means your balloons have more capacity, which gives you more honey. So capacity is so important. Um, try your best to get as much capacity as you can. Um, as a lot of your capacity comes from your amulets and your backpack, which I obviously have cocoa canister, um, because at my stage in the game, I need to have cocoa canister. Like, it's a, you have to have this kind of thing. Um, but I'm one thing I'm struggling with right now is honey. Because I keep spending it on stuff. There's so much I need to get. I need to get a better amulet for SSA. Uh, I need to level up my bees. And I need to spend it on royal jellies. And I'm also trying to get some of my bees gifted. Like my buoyance. But then there's a gamble. If I spend a lot of blueberries. Then I'll be out of blueberries. And I can't macro for blueberries. I can AFK for blueberries. But am I going to make much? Get much blueberries? No, not really. I mean, I will get a lot. But... Not in Stump, you don't get as many blueberries. But Stump is my favorite field. And here's why. It is a smaller field, which you probably think that doesn't matter. But there, there's less space and more bubbles. And their bubbles are easy to get to, to pop, and the balloons. It's just kind of really fun to grind in Stump. 
as we just passed the 8 billion honey mark. And again, I, I literally grinded for like 15 minutes yesterday and got like a 1 billion balloon. So that's how strong Blue Hive is. Four buoyants only. So just wait till we get 14 buoyants and a Tide Popper and have gummy boots. We're going to try and get Baby Love here and defeat the King Beetle. Um, also, Blue Flower is a pretty good field. Bamboo, Pine Tree, Stump, any of them are good fields. Any, any of them are good fields. Also, I did a boost in Pumpkin because of one of the codes had a Pumpkin boost. Actually made a lot in that boost. That was when I was Blue Hive. I was at the beginning of my blue hive journey and i did not have a good blue hive then Ooh, we missed that um bubble there balloon well we have a lot of balloons and diamond drain also important if you are going to switch blue you need to have the diamond mask i know the diamond eggs are a pain they were a pain for me but you need to have the diamond mask because it has those two passes that are going to help you and all the blue buffs the capacity buffs so you're not going to really be able to switch blue with diamond Unless you have Bubble Mask, I guess Bubble Mask wouldn't be, like, an awful thing. Stinks there. We got Pollen, Haze, and Popstar and had to leave the field. Because we got Baby Love, we're going to kill this King Beetle really quickly. Even though I am a Blue Hive and I don't have much attack, still kill it quickly. Three red extracts, three blue extracts. That's huge. Um, that is huge, guys. Five tickets isn't bad, I guess. Don't even know what I'm going to use my ticket on. Also... This is me from the future, technically. And I'm telling you guys that I did get a gifted Frosty Bee. I was so happy. Literally took 100 Royal Jellies, got a gifted Frosty.